All right, so today what we're going to be looking at is activity 7.2, which is section views. And we're going to create the drill block. Now, again, I'm just going to get this started for you. And then it's going to be up to you to finish the part. Um, so at this point, we should have already had some paper drawings of what a section view looks like. Uh, so we're going to create the part and then we're going to create a section view in our um, inventor drawing. So here we go. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch just like normal and start it on XY. And the first thing I want is I want a rectangle. So I'm going to draw the rectangle and it says to dimension it to five inches width and two inches in height. So let's go ahead and do that. Five inches width and two inches height. And I'll finish the sketch and I'll zoom out. And then it says it has a depth of three inches, so I'm going to extrude to three inches. And so there's my basic box um, that I need to complete the drawing. Now, the next thing is, is there's a bunch of whole notes on here. Now, if you notice, the whole notes have a location dimension and then individual whole notes. So we're gonna tackle the location dimensions first. So I started 2D sketch, and this time I wanna start it on the top of the box. And let's move the view around so we're looking at it sideways. Um, so I'm gonna put in a construction line and have it go down the center of the part, so I grab a line, then I right click and make it a construction line. And if my box is two inches, um, then we're going to, or three inches in depth, then we're gonna dimension this to one and a half. So that way it's directly in the center. And that's gonna guide us with our points because we need points in order to create holes. So I'm gonna grab my point tool um, and put these on the center line. Now it looks like I need four points. At this point, I don't care where they are because I'm going to make them all be collinear with the center line. So I'm gonna grab my geometric constraint and actually I'm gonna grab coincident and first point, make that coincident with the center line. And I'm gonna do that all the way down. That way I ensure that all my holes end up exactly in the middle. Now, Next thing is, is to dimension them from the left side. Now you'll notice that this is chain dimensioning here for each of the points. So my first one is 0.75 from the left side. So I go here, drag it up, type 0.75. And the next one is one inch from that point. So I'm gonna grab the point there, next point, drag that up put 1.0. Third one is 1.25 inches away from the second point. So I'll type 1.25. And then my fourth point is also 1.25 inches away from the third point. So once I have all those in place, I'm going to finish my sketch. Now, if you remember, in order to get all of these points, you first have to start out with the first hole 
and then you're going to share the sketch. So let's grab a point and I'll right click and then I'll select whole so that way I'm only selecting one of them. Now this says here on your sheet, um, half an inch diameter, depth to two inches, and then we get the counter bore symbol of 0.75 inch diameter and depth of half an inch. So I'm gonna find my counter bore, which is the second one down. And then I'm gonna type in my stuff. So first of all, I'm gonna have 0.5 of the overall hole. And I want my counter bore to be 0.75. And my counter bore depth, <coughs> excuse me, to be half an inch. And then my termination, I want to a distance so my overall depth here, I want it to be two inches. And there's my first hole. Now, I mentioned that you're gonna have to share the sketch. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna share sketch, and then I'm able to put in the rest of the holes, okay? So you can finish up the rest of the holes um, based on the drawing here. Once you have your part complete, save it as 7.2 drill block. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe on my YouTube channel.